Hi guys and welcome to This Week at Onsonk International. My name is Suryan and I am your host. This week is all about Onsonk in the trenches and we head over to the US to meet Puerto Rican guitarist Fernando Fred, who is going to explain to us his process and his journey on YouTube that has earned him over 84,000 subscribers. Take it away, Fernando. Hello, my name is Fernando Ufret. I am a guitar player from Mayagüez, Puerto Rico. It's nice to meet you. I um, just want to talk to you about um, how I started in music. I started playing when I was nine with a guitar I found at my grandmother's house. I, uh, like a lot of guitar players, when they start, they want to imitate other guitar players. Um, I grew up listening to Guns N' Roses and Iron Maiden and stuff like that, so I wanted to be you know, Slash or Dave Murray from Iron Maiden. That would have been awesome at nine years old. So started there and that's what got me motivated. And afterwards, um, in my uh, mid-teens, I started listening to stuff like Dream Theater and then John Petrucci motivated me musically to become a better musician, stuff like that. And I always played a classical guitar then I went straight into an electric guitar and then back to studying classical music in college. So that was kind of like the biggest turning point in my career was learning how to play classical music. I mean, just, just getting to learn the beginnings of classical guitar and how I can apply it to what I play now and, and, and to playing covers on the road and... and, and and even you know writing songs and stuff like that but um yeah so i started a youtube channel around 2014 to keep in touch with my puerto rican friends when i moved up to the midwestern united states and um i just started it to go video by video just playing stuff that i used to play back home just so people would have a place to go to and just, you know, get a little bit of music from me. But then it became uh, a really big deal when a couple friends pushed me into doing 365 videos in a year, so a daily video for an entire year. And I did it, but between gigs and, and traveling and, and everything, it, it got out of hand and, and it started growing and people started joining and subscribing. And here we are. Um, 82, 83,000 subs later, and it's been amazing. I mean, and, it, and it's all been because um, I interact with people. I just don't, I, I don't post um, stuff and just let it be. I mean, I've, I, I, I post regularly. Now, I, I post every week, but I engage. I mean, I, I talk to people. I comment back, answer their questions. Now, I've been, uh, thanks to a, a colleague of mine, Surian, which is the one who got got me to do this video. Thank you, Surya. Muchas gracias. Um, thanks to her, I've been doing a, a live stream every week. And that's gotten even, you know, the, the show's gotten even more personal because of that. And people come and ask their questions, request their songs. And it's, it's been amazing. It's, it's been really cool. And it's really important for, not for a channel to grow, because, I mean, you can grow a channel with any type of content, uh, comedy, I mean, uh, cooking, anything, but what really makes it a community is the engagement. That you're there for people and you talk to your subs and you listen to what they want. And um, uh, I've dedicated a couple of years of my life to just entertaining people on YouTube part time because I'm always on the road playing. So um, uh, I like to record things that I usually play in my live shows and I take requests in my in, in in the comment sections of my video videos and I just write them down on, a, on an endless list that I have and I, I go through each and every once and uh, each and every single song request that I get so right now the request list is at about six seven hundred songs yeah so it's pretty long, but uh, I mean, it, it keeps me working and it, it, it keeps people requesting and, and, and coming back for more. So 
that's what we have to do, uh, what we'll do. And I, I, I love my job, if, if you understand that. So um, other than my YouTube life, which is a really small part of my musical life, I do YouTube, I do my live stream on Tuesdays, and then I, I release a song later in the week. It used to be like really early in the week, but now because people, you know, are, people are, are, are driven by schedules, we um we do a live stream early in the week and then a couple of the maybe the day later or a couple of days later I'll release a new cover. And I usually play live from Wednesday through Saturday, sometimes even Sunday. I do seven to eight shows a week. And it's 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 always been my life like that. I mean the the whole social media YouTube thing has been a been a very new thing to me. And um anybody who is planning on starting to upload content and anybody who plans on starting a YouTube channel, the first thing that um, I would like to impress upon you is start where you are, you know, um, even if you don't have great equipment, be sure of what you're doing, you know, practice your songs and, and, and get them really, really good and Make a recording, you know, any type of recording and put it out there and see what people react to and what they like, what they don't like and adjust bit by bit. And, you know, uh, you could be super shy or super social and and still do this. You know, it uh, doesn't matter at what point of comfort you are with putting stuff out there. Um, just give it a shot. You have nothing to lose. And people out there will find you and will like what you do. Just make sure that you practice really good and you believe in what you do. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who has ever supported me. Uh, thank everybody who has ever shared a video with me, made a request, everyone. This is all, this is a, I think I like to say, this is a, a relationship we have and it goes, you know, it goes part in part. You know, I give you some music and energy and you guys give me energy back. And that's, that's what keeps me going. So if you guys keep this exchange with me, we'll do this for the rest of our lives. Um, thank you guys so much for the opportunity of uh, uh, putting me out there. And um, it's pretty nice to meet every single one of the other musicians who are trying to build a community online and, and getting their stuff out. Congratulations on, first of all, starting and keep going if you need any help uh, we have a pretty good community of people who are willing to answer your questions thank you so much it's a little bit out of tune thank you so much you guys are awesome thank you so much and thank you Surian for giving me this opportunity on song thank you thank you so much Fernando guys a song a day that's 365 songs in a year. Could you have taken on that challenge? Do you feel inspired? We want to know. Please write a comment down here below or email info at onsongoz.com and you can find out more about Fernando by visiting his YouTube channel listed down here below. Also, Fernando streams live on YouTube every Tuesday at 2 p.m. CST. So why not pop over and join the interactive fun? And that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the episode and we look forward to seeing you in the next. Until the next time, do not forget to subscribe and to like On Song International on all the social media platforms. See you soon. Bye.